The last time it rained in Napa in August was in 1997. I don't know what happened then, but I believe that last night's rain, our Iris tears get a little out of hand up there. And, but they're not sad tears. They're tears of joy to see his kids all gathered here and his grandchildren, as well as his friends and the community. So thank you all for being here. I want to take you back to 2017 for a little bit and share how I encountered some of Ira's very special groups. Naturally, Ira was one of the first people that my wife, Jalissa, and I met when we moved to Napa in July of 2017. And to get to know everyone better at the radio station and learn about their exact goals, we wanted to have lunch with everyone individually. And from the beginning, I knew that Ira was different. Before we had the chance to ask him to lunch, he actually asked us if we would like to have a tasty, delicious lunch of the Elk Lodge as his first, as his guest, the first Thursday we were here. I thought, the Elk Lodge, okay. Napa Valley is a culinary destination, and Ira had been in the Valley for 41 years then. He definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, and I quickly learned that more than the mouth-watering food that the Elk Lodge serves <laughs> at the Lodges, it was the great people at his revered Kiwanis Club that he wanted to Lisa and I to connect with. Many of whom are now our very good friends. Fast forward to a few weeks later, the 2017-2018 sports season kicked off, and I had the pleasure of meeting another remarkable group from Ira's life, his sports team. It was here that I witnessed his deep commitment to the Napa Valley sports community and observed how this extraordinary team's unwavering support were crucial to the sports scene here in our community. And I'll never forget being next to Ira at a game, shadowing him when he met an athlete for the first time. Ira recognized the last name immediately and asked the young high school athlete if his dad was so-and-so and if he had played basketball as number, let's say eight. I can't remember the exact number, but I'm a Laker fan. Uh, the student athlete told him that that was his dad's name, but he wasn't even sure if his dad had played baseball, or sorry, basketball, or what his number even was. So the athlete texted his dad by, uh, in this pod, and his dad responded quickly that it in fact was him. And the dad was so impressed that I could still remember his number, even though he hadn't played basketball in about 30 years. That was Ira. Ira's memory and admiration for the athletes and their family is unmatched, demonstrating a love, a level of dedication and care that is exceptional. To him, what he did, it really wasn't a job, it was his passion. And that's why he never retired. Um, three days before he passed away, I sat with him at Napa Sport, and it was a tradition. Uh, we, uh, he had his uh, program ready. Nate and him, our program director, had and he just wanted me to give him the final blessing. And the same question since this and I moved here in July. Ira, is this your last season? And he said, absolutely not. He said, I, I want two more. I want to make it to season 15. And so I said, all right. Uh, he had his uh, football schedule ready. And so, um, you know, we were all ready as a team and uh, as a company to start season 49, which would have started so with that, I know that uh, we've talked to the sports team, and I'm so proud to announce that we're going to keep this legacy going. Uh, we're going to make it to season 15. <laughs> Dino Alessio can fry. Thank you for stepping up. Uh, CJ wrote me back there. Uh, 